A woman identified as Elizabeth Oyenye has accused Abdumumuni Danga of Kogi State, the Commissioner of Water Resources, of raping her. In a viral video, Oyenye said the Commissioner abducted her over a Facebook post she made against him. She further accused the Commissioner of making her record a video to recount her Facebook claims. Governor Yahaya Bello has, however, ordered an investigation into the matter. In a statement, Kinsley Faon, the state's commissioner for information, said the governor ordered the investigation so the truth can be uncovered. When I went to the village, I was actually staying in my friend's place. So they actually knew my location at the moment. So they sent some, immediately sent her with the hillocks and a gold color sienna to the place. They rushed me to follow them, that the commissioner want to see me. I now asked them why now said regarding the post I made on social media about him, that he has questions for me. So I went with them. On getting there, he collected my phone, smashed it and destroyed it. Asked me to kneel down. He asked me why I made it, that kind of post of him. So I told him it's because of the... The, the, the things I've heard about him and why, as in why I felt bad when I now saw the other post of people trying to praise him. As in, I now explained the reason why I made the post to him. So he, he, he now told me, as in, do I, he, he now said a lot of things. After then, he, he flogged me. After flogging me, there are a group of guys waiting for this thing to happen. They were videoing me and making mocking me at the point so he was beating me asked me to go naked flogged me and made me go naked May, he asked the guys to make a video of me they made a video of me and my three-year-old son was there too on that day so after the whole thing he still forced us me and the kid uh, the kid sister that we should apologize to the whole world about um, the post I made of him on social media, I should tell his fan out there that he's not that kind of person that I said he was. We were forced to make the video on our news. After making that video, he still, he, he still proceeded to say we should go to uh, follow him. When we followed him, he dropped my friend in their place and took me along to a hotel. It was in the hotel he raped me. That was an exclusive interview with Plus TV Africa. We now have joining us via Skype from Kogi State, the Honorable Commissioner for Information and Communication, Kinsley Faun. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you very much. Okay, um, let's start from the pandemic for a moment before we get to other issues. How is Kogi State faring amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and what specific policies have been adopted at this time? Uh, immediately the uh, pandemic uh, broke out. Uh, we, the governor of the state, His Excellency al Hadi Hayabelo, set up a squadron committee uh, to be able to coordinate uh, activities against the spread uh, of the virus. And uh, in, the squadron committee has been uh, uh, up on top of the game. And as, as, as far as we are concerned in COVID state, there is no single uh, confirmed case of COVID-19 in, in, uh, in the state. Because of the sensitization we've been able to give to our people, uh, our schools were shut down so that children would not be able to um, uh, spread the virus. Uh, we also made a policy of ensuring that uh, uh, workers on grade levels 1 to 13 uh, were uh, asked to work from home. Uh, by so doing, uh, they would not uh, be able to uh, encourage the spread of the virus. And all the measures that we put in place include uh, uh, shutting down uh, markets, except where, where they sell foodstuffs and pharmaceuticals. And as far as we are concerned today, uh, we have been able to uh, tame the virus from spreading uh, in the states. Okay, let's talk about the relaxation on for religious worship. The other day, we understand that the state governor relaxed the restriction um, for public religious uh, worship. Considering that other states are in increasing restrictions, what informed this decision um, of the government? Yeah, we, were, we have uh, realized that what people need uh, most is sensitization. 
Uh, they need to say, we need to sensitize the people on how to look after their personal hygiene, uh, on social distancing, and uh, quite uh, a number of factors that could uh, curtail the spread uh, of the virus. Uh, we do not think that uh, stopping people uh, from going to places of worship uh, would, would be one of the ways to stop the spread of the virus. And uh, what has happened is that we put in place measures we met with the religious uh, organizations and gave them uh, the regulations that they would need to follow, uh, like sanitizing uh, all worshippers before the commencement of service and also ensuring that they, were, they are able to maintain social distance even in the place of worship and reduce contact as much as possible. So it, it, we've, uh, we've been able to test run that last Friday uh, in our mosques across the state and on Sunday in our churches and uh, I think uh, we, are, we are good with that. We will study the situation. If there is any need for us to revisit that decision, we will definitely do that. All right. So away from All right. the COVID-19 okay. for a wee bit. Let's talk about the uh, controversy over the rape allegations against um, um, one of the commissioners in the states that we understand has now been suspended. The pandemic hasn't drowned that out. I would like to uh, get your reaction. Has there been a, any further action on the matter? Uh, we, we are not aware that the commissioner has been suspended. Uh, I think one of the media houses that uh, was promoting the news was also the media house that also broke the false news of suspension. Uh, as far as we are concerned, it is uh, still in the realm of allegation. The state owes both the, uh, the, the uh, alleged victim and the commissioner a lot of protection at this time until any of them is found guilty after investigations. What we need to do as a government uh, was to uh, call on security agencies to ensure thorough, unbiased investigations into the matter, so that at the end of the day, anyone found wanting would be uh, summarily prosecuted. And that is where we are on the matter, uh, and uh, the police will be in position uh, to talk further about how far they've gone about uh, on their investigations. We may not be able to talk extensively on that because uh, I, I, from the information available to us, the matter is already before a competent court of jurisdiction. So saying anything about it now uh, will be about uh, jeopardizing uh, the justice resource of, of both parties. But this thing has been around for a while. It's almost two weeks since that accusation was made, and we understand that the young lady is afraid for her life. If you cannot speak on the ongoing investigation, what about the fear that the young lady is expressing that she's afraid that she might die? What assurances is the state government given to restore that confidence that nothing will happen to this young lady? Uh, we, we are not, uh, as, as, a, as, a, as a government, one of our biggest achievements uh, as a government, as an administration, uh, is the fact that we have been able to restore security uh, to a hitherto very volatile and, and crime-infested state that we inherited. So uh, everyone is uh, free and safe here in Togo State. Uh, it, is our, it is our responsibility to protect all our citizens, including the person who raised the allegation. Uh, so we are, we are prepared to ensure uh, she's secured. No, but there is no, there's nobody, uh, as far as we are concerned, that would um, harass her uh, over anything. Her protection is, is well guaranteed. So uh, we we'll urge her to, to do whatever uh, she would want to do to get justice on the matter and not uh, not any fear of, of being attacked. Okay, uh, well, just stay on the line, sir, because there's been a reaction uh, by the Dorothy Njamanze Foundation, and they are calling for more protection um, of um, the victim, the alleged victim, uh, Elizabeth Oyeniyi, uh, who said that she was raped by a serving uh, commissioner in Kogi State. Now, the executive director of the foundation, Dorothy Njamanze, while accusing the Kogi State government of failing to take appropriate sanctions against uh, Danga, says the life of Miss Elizabeth but is in danger and wants more protection uh, for her and her family. Let's listen to this. Absolutely. Damages need to be paid, and not silently. Something has been made evident. I don't believe that the governor has not seen that video where the lady and the, the friend, who happens to be the sister of the commissioner, were forced to praise the commissioner. 
that video alone is a crime in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And on the strength of that alone, if not for anything, by now there should be evidence in public domains that that commissioner has been sacked. Because what exists currently is that there is a power imbalance. The commissioner of uh, water resources in the person of Ab Abdul Mumuni Ganga, uh, <laughs> Ganga, you know, has access to state resources. And this woman in question, you know, doesn't even have basic resources to get by on a daily basis. She struggles on a daily basis. So the power imbalance is there. We need the, uh, every, the National Human Rights Commission and all the human rights apparatus in Nigeria to prevail on the Kogi state government to do the needful of issuing evidence of his suspension. That's a good place to start from. And then let him explain how he got to the process of, you know, getting people who he felt offended him to praise him and documenting them you know, on, on camera. That's a, that's a very big problem. I didn't just document them. He transmitted the documentation. So those are multiple crimes on their own. So her human rights have been grossly violated. The rights of the child were also violated. And her life and the lives of her family are currently not safe. So we're calling on the Nigerian police and the security apparatus to see to the safety of the life and property of her and her family. In fact, in the process of not sleeping over this matter, we found out that this lady in question is the second victim in eight days by the same person. And I don't believe that the Kogi state government is not uh, active enough to hear what we are hearing. All right. Um, I don't know if we still have the commissioner on the line. Honorable Commissioner. Yes, I'm with you here. Okay, you heard um, the lady's um, accusation. I want to take you specifically to the part where she talked about the young lady being compelled to recant her um, uh, post against the commissioner. Again, it will still be, uh, it will still amount to talking about the details of the issues raised. Uh, those issues are currently being investigated by the Nigerian police. And the commissioner of police, uh, Kogi State, is on top of the situation. So uh, talking about it will be about um, strengthening uh, the position of um, either of the two, which a uh, government is not prepared to do. The investigation should be independent. It should be thorough. It should be unbiased. Is and there a time at the end limit? of the investigation, anyone found, any, any, anyone found wanting uh, would be prosecuted. That, that is the position we are now. Talking, uh, talking about those issues in details, we amount to uh, justify or strengthening uh, the position of um, either of the two. Okay, just before I let you go, could you give us maybe like a time frame? Has the government given a mandate that this matter must be resolved within a specific time? Um, I, 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 we, we cannot do that because it is um, an investigation that would have to be very, very thorough. And uh, it would depend on the cooperation of all the parties involved in volunteering information. Uh, the commissioner serves in our government, and the governor has directed him to submit himself for investigations. Uh, as far as we are concerned, he has submitted himself. When, uh, whenever uh, the lady is able to submit herself to, she would be interrogated and the police will be able to come up with a report. So it is not uh, the fault of government uh, that we are yet to, to get the reports of the investigation. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Commissioner, for coming on the news. Thank you very much.